Beacon Hill will be a lot less frenzied over the next five months. Formal sessions in both the State, Ho State House and Senate are done until January. Before the clock struck midnight Sunday and all the unfinished bills turned into pumpkins, state lawmakers did manage to agree on a bunch of them and send them to Charlie Baker. Included were that equal pay bill we talked about last night here on the show, a renewable energy compromise, new regulations on ride-sharing companies like Uber and Lyft, and an economic and job creation bill which caused some controversy because what it didn't include were those new taxes on Airbnb-type rentals. As for others that didn't make the cut by the time the clock ran out, fingerprinting for Uber and Lyft drivers, non-compete reform, and paid family and medical leave for everyone. House Speaker Robert DeLeo joins me. It's really good to see you. It's Mr. good Speaker. to see you as you always. You hate quizzes? I do. Let's start with one. <laughs> what is today the anniversary of? Today, August 3rd. Mm -hmm. I'll give you a hint. It involves you. It was one year ago. My operation. Exactly. How are you? I can't believe that. You look that. fabulous. Today is the one year anniversary. Oh I can't believe gosh. I know it. You don't. How are you? I good. I'm feeling really well. And how's your I, health? And I, and I have to say that uh, it's amazing when I can tell you, for instance, last week at the convention, uh, the Democratic yeah. convention, doing so much walking, and if that would would have been last year, I would have had some real difficulty. We well, look fabulous. But I hope you saying, feel as, thank as you. good as you do. I do. Thank so do I do a decent description of? I mean, the highlights. I know there are a lot of. That was a decent description, right? It wasn't perfect, but it was uh, okay. It wasn't close perfect. Enough. Give me the one or two <laughs> things that you think people at home should feel best about. What are the couple things you and your colleagues accomplished that you think really will make a difference in people's lives? I think uh, the good things that we did, I think in substance abuse legislation mm. uh, that was included as part of the budget, um, I feel very good relative to the pay equality um, legislation. Um, it's a process. Uh, it doesn't mandate equal pay, but it's a process. But it's a process yeah. that helps greatly yeah. in terms of trying to arrive at that. Mm -hmm. I think the, uh, uh, again, what we did with subs the transgender uh, public legislate, public bill. accommodations. I look at that uh, as a matter of, you know, that you're part of something historical in terms of, uh, you know, for the first time in our, our, our state, um, giving those types of pr protections to the transgender community. Is that uh, hard community. to sell to the people of Winthrop for, for a kid from Winthrop? Is it hard to sell to the folks back home? It's not easy. At times it was, it was interesting because uh, I, I've had a number of people who came up to me um, after the process and said, you know, we love you as a uh -huh. friend. You've been a great rep, but you really made a mistake on that one. So it was, a, I, I think what we did on early education, uh, the importance of early education really cannot be overstated. I think, uh, again, addressing that in the budget was important. I think with some of the things that you had mentioned, in particular, the energy yeah. uh, legislation, which brings more, you know, renewable, cleaner, forms of uh, energy. A guy who's here from time to time, Bill Evans, the Commissioner of Boston, who I assume you have a lot of respect for, and I do too. I do too, I thought. Really uh, unhappy there's no fingerprinting in the ride-sharing thing. He said you and your colleagues put corporate profits ahead of uh, public safety. I mean, he knows his business. Why do you think you know more about public safety than the Commissioner of the Boston Police well, Department? Well, first of all, uh, obviously there are a whole host of uh, folks involved in, yeah, uh, you know, police activities in addition to Boston. A lot of the chiefs okay. aren't happy with okay, no okay. fingerprinting. But I will tell you that um, for the most part, um, I don't, except for Boston, that's been the only place where there was discussion of any fingerprinting. Because they fingerprint so, so, cab drivers. So, 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 what I, so what I felt was whatever the cab drivers had to do, that that's exactly what should happen. But they fingerprint to them Uber. in Boston. In and Boston now. But that, that only, won't have uh, that, to. That's only considered for the past six months. Where, were, where was Boston? It was only when we started to talk about Uber and Lyft that all of a sudden fingerprinting came into vogue. But today and, they are fingerprinted. Well, we'll see what the future holds in terms of that. You know, the, I did a thing the other night which I'm sure would aggravate you if you had seen it. I, I don't get this go home for five months of things. And I know, uh, I, and I believe, I know you fairly well. I know you're going to work during the period. There are no formal sessions, though. Two thirds of the, your colleagues who are running for reelection don't have any opponent. So that rationale is ridiculous. Why don't you stay in session except for a summer recess, a Thanksgiving recess? Why the five months off? Well, first of all, we are in what called informal sessions, which means there are still matters that can be done as long as there is no f formal objections. Right, but if one person objects, you can't do it. But I will tell you, one of the major reasons was, you know, the outcry from the general public. The general public was very concerned, especially during election years, for the so-called um, 
uh, you know, the election year cycle or the cycle before in terms of what was going to happen during some of these sessions. So it was the outcry of the public that we had changed. We were originally in session just about all year round. So you think they want August. you not working during this period? Uh, that, that they consider the so-called lame duck sessions that they are very concerned about. How's uh, the governor done in his first year and a half? You seem to have a pretty good relationship with him. I think he's done great. I think he's done fine. I think the relationship has been a, 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 a good one. And, uh, you know, quite frankly, I think if you look at our body of work the last two years, the governor, the Senate, and the House, I think that you'd have to say that we had a very successful uh, two years. Have you ever voted so, for a Republican? Have I ever? Yeah, ever. Um, not that I can remember. Would you consider voting for Charlie Baker when he runs oh, for election? Oh, I'd have to see who the opponent is. But is that may the mayor told me he's never voted, Mayor Walsh, he's never voted for a Republican. It is, quote, possible that he'd vote for Charlie. Is it possible you would too? I think um, it would be very difficult for me to vote a Republican, but I'd have to say that he would be a person that I would uh, probably consider. Uh, you know, you go to, went to two schools that have been in great strife uh, off and on, Boston Latin, and you went to Suffolk Law, right? Oh, uh, and I've done a lot of research wow, on I'm just going to say, you're the first I know person. August 3rd, you don't even know the anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> Have you been tempted to get, I mean, it seems to me, particularly, let's just stay with Suffolk. I mean, there's racial strife at Boston Latin. They hope they've begun to resolve that. Suffolk is like there's no adult in the room. I mean, it's almost as if the Suffolk board has said, let's see what we can do to make sure that nobody wants to send their kid here. Chaos. Have you been tempted to say, we need a grown-up, maybe I'm the grown-up, meaning you. Some grown-up should get between Margaret McKenna, who's now the outgoing president, president and this rogue board has that ever occurred to you it has and actually and? I would have to tell you that I've even had some conversations with some of the folks um, at, at not, 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 not so much to take over any position to get involved but just to get my opinion on things one of the greatest concerns that I have although it wasn't the university I went to was the law school I know um, but but having said that what concerns me of obviously is that you take a school which I think provides a good education and because of what has been going on uh, a childish play, uh, if, if you will, in, in, in some cases. Um, I think it's hurt the reputation of the school. Do you think um, it was wrong to dump McKenna? Um, First woman I've president? never had any problems, actually, in my dealings with McKenna. Was it a mistake uh, to dump her? Um, I don't, you know, they keep on talking about some inf the, the latest situation in terms of what they have on her, and I have no idea okay. what it is that she did wrong. Before you go, you told me when you were here with Stan Rosenberg, Senate President, a couple of months ago, whatever, you supported the having the millionaire's tax, as it's called, on the ballot, which would raise a billion and something on people who make more than a million bucks a year. Which I voted for. I know you did. In the Constitution, will you vote for it when it's on, if it's on the ballot? I probably would. So if you vote for it, it's reasonable for me to assume that you think the state could use that extra billion and a half a year. And if you believe it could use the extra billion and a half a year, why have you sided with the governor and taken a no tax stance? You think, what is it, let the voters raise their own taxes even though you think we need a tax increase? No, what I'm saying is I think that tax increase is a whole lot different than, uh, you know, a tax on, whether it's a sales tax, whether it's a tax on soda or candy bars or, you know, whatever it may be. That particular tax, I think, is a whole lot different in terms of the... Who gets taxed? Who's, who's going so to get taxed. So you do acknowledge that we need more tax money to do what you think needs to be done in the Commonwealth? I, I think we, we, support, I, I, right? I think we can always say that, that we can use, uh, you know, more money. But on the other hand, what my major concern has been, if you take a look and if I talk to, which I do, uh, you know, quite a bit to the folks in my uh -huh. district in terms of basically the middle, mi the middle class, they're having a... a Difficult Understood. time trying to make things go, and therefore I don't think tax is, is the answer. There's, no, and look at you know everyone looks at me as the no tax. You know I've I've had to take positions in the years that I've been speaker uh, where I've had to make that decision to raise taxes because of the fiscal condition that we were in. Do you support extending the hotel tax, the Airbnbs? The governor was for it before he was against it. He told us on the not road. until we get some look. I thought that was a great tax in the sense that I never had an industry come up and said that they wanted tax to me. be taxed. Um, but, but, on the, but the other hand, you can't get into a tax situation if, you're, if you can't talk about taxes unless you start bringing in some regulations Got it. relative to the Airbnb. And quite frankly, okay. that was just the tax and that was it. Unless you're going to talk about how they're going to be treated and regulated, I think that has to be done before you talk about taxes. Before you go, I have 30 seconds. You didn't know it was the anniversary, but I bet you do know 
that if you run for re-election as speaker in January and you're re-elected and serve your two years, you're the longest serving speaker, I read this in Conwell, since the American Revolution. Is that good for democracy? Oh, of course it's very <laughs> good for democracy. Good to when see. When you get the right person okay, in the hair, it, it works I, out I well. And I think nice you know you. that. Congratulations on Thank the Thank you so much.